Started raining. Mm -hmm. In this episode, we are still in the beautiful island of Dominica and we are heading to Red Rocks. Very shiny, shiny yeah. Oh, it's, it's actually soft. Yeah, it's soft. I expected yeah. it to be rough. Yeah, it's soft. Yeah. This is because we are on the On the way, we stopped for local roasted corn, which was tasty, but be prepared for it to get stuck in your teeth. This was also a really long drive as it took us to the other side of the island. We have arrived at the entrance for Red Rock, so um, we just paid a fee and we're waiting for the tour. So we're heading out to see the Red Rocks, just have a small trail before we get there. This little trek made you feel like you were heading through a secret pathway to somewhere wonderful. to tell you that seeing this on camera does it no justice to seeing it in person. It was absolutely stunning. It actually felt like it was another planet. It was somewhere away from Earth. I'm not sure if you guys can see on camera, but like some of the glistening that's in the sand is also like built into the rocks. I really wish it translated well on camera because as you walk, you can literally see the ground sparkle. I want you to picture a photo shoot where there's this woman standing in one of these really flowing dresses and she's just standing in the midst of a place that looks like otherworldly. I mean, this is what this place is giving. I'm really talking about beauty. So if you visit Dominica and you want to take a unique and bomb photo shoot, just ask them to take you to Red Rocks.
After our time at Red Rocks, we went in search of the Carib Reserve for another slice of the island's culture. It started raining. The original Carib people of the island were awarded 3,700 acres of land, which is now known as the Kalinago Territory. There is still a group who continue to live according to the tribe's old customs, but many have become modernized. You can still see some of the old customs, however, showing up in their practices in regards to their foods and crafts. I'm about to show you some of the beautiful handcrafted items that they make as well as a snippet of the process of making cassava bread. It all starts with raw cassava being grated on this handmade device and then all of the liquid being pressed out on yet another handmade device. That is one that is collected mm -hmm. and we, we hydraulic this down. Oh no, it has one To press out all of the water. Mm -hmm. So it's collecting water, the water is what makes the starch. Mm -hmm. And after it's been squeezed, we fix it on this. Fix it on this. Right. Mm -hmm. So it keeps up all the big chunks. Okay, okay. okay. Uh huh. So it comes like that. The pulp is Ooh. this. Yeah. So this nice is what we use um, to make the cassava bread. Purring and cassava bread. Oh. Uh. The purring is done over here. Different. So we bake it. Um, it, it, a lot of fire. Mm -hmm. and and the, the, the fire will go underneath yes. and the We use this which we call a wabot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. These guys are using it. Yes, and we sift it, sift it until it's extra dry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Malas. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, and after we have the fern, we'll mm -hmm. yes. so when it gets dry, that's all it comes. It doesn't come with, um, you will add your sugar and stuff like that? Yeah, so you can add anything to it. Some people eat it with beer, some people milk, sugar, mm -hmm. but, like that. Uh -huh. but you can do whatever you want. Yes, whatever you Okay. So it will dry and become a powder? Yes, it comes like powder. So when it's dry, it comes. Oh. So normally you put them back in the, the fork, mm -hmm. so the food will come fine. Do you have cassava bread? Yes, we have cassava bread. We have different flavors. So we have the, the coconut ginger sweets. Mm -hmm. We have unsweetened, we have the plains. Mm -hmm. Coconut ginger, no sugar, mm -hmm. plain. The plain is nothing I had it. That's the right. cassava. And coconut and sugar. So we have sweet ones and unsweetened. How much is the sweet one? Okay. I want one of the coconut. Yeah, I'm gonna try one of those. Um, on coconut. Coconut. Sweet? Sweet? Yeah. No ginger, right? It has coconut and ginger in it. Yes. I want the one with ginger and okay. coconut. Next up, we're headed to see some local crafts. This is what they use to make the woven items like the baskets. Oh. We'll add brew. We'll add? Yes, we'll add. We'll add, okay. Uh, how long have you been here, we'll add? Long time since I've gone here. You grew up here? Yeah. Okay, we are told there were a lot, a lots of huts around here, you know, back in a few years past, like persons would have their huts as houses, like when did you see that starting to change? A long time ago, well, see that is only past Barana Ute, down there, mm -hmm. 
Well, they are not able to take things, so. Mm. Yes. It's still there? Yes. We didn't see any. We, oh, we didn't maybe see any. Maybe didn't go in the forest. In, yeah, oh, yes. we're supposed to have gone yeah, in the forest. They big one where they're making show, dance, and things. Oh. Yes. Maybe only reach just one. So you have to go we into just, the forest. Yes, we just kept yes. on the main road. Okay, okay. Oh, so we not in the forest. They are big thing where they keeping beating their drum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. This but is. You won't find that by the road now. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. My father got into the, uh, the double basket. They call it the carry basket. The double oh. wheel. It have, the inside part is that lives in between and we weave that on the tag and to make it double. And you learn so from the time you're small growing yeah. up. That is what the, the carib used to carry their stuff long time. Mm-hmm. So not black one, but bigger ones. Bigger Square ones. ones. Uh-huh. Carry on their head. So if rain falls, nothing wet. They go by boat, um, thing, the sea rough, mm-hmm. nothing wet inside. They, nice. They, accrue, they carry their goods, come back in it. Nice. Yes. Nice. Good day, good day, good day. Good day. Good day, good day. Hello. Yes, After I make the place mat, you get that and it's edit. <laughs> oh, and it becomes a braid. Yes. No, we need to it. What happened? Oh. Oh. Nice. And then you will wind it around itself yes, to make. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's only, oh, like I can see every with one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have the mm-hmm. basket, bread basket. All these baskets are little nice. Oh, all of them get there. Nice. Okay. Ah, thank you. These are the old ones and these are the wrong ones. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we have darling, so. We enjoyed the beautiful scenery for a while and then our tour guide showed us how the juice was pressed out of sugar canes. From the sugar cane, you put the sugar cane on the hair mm-hmm. and you squeeze it to get the juice and out. The juice comes out from there. Mm. Oh, the noni. Okay, yeah, we have this one. You have this one. Yeah. Noni. noni. It's in between. Uh, that's it. Look at this, people. Look at this view. This day was such a beautiful day. I won't forget it. I only wished we had more time on this trip to head into the heart of where the Kalanago people kept things a little bit more closely connected to how their forefathers lived. But all in all, I had an awesome experience seeing the culture and a bit of their food. All right, guys, I am back in the apartment. I forgot to show you guys the cassava bread. Show you the process. This is how it looks. Close up. After this beautiful day, we spent the rest of the evening winding down with some popcorn and belting out R&B and pop songs while we absolutely crushed each other at UNO. Talk about a great night. As usual, Journey Buds, thank you so much for traveling through life with me. Stay tuned for the next leg of this particular journey.